In this video I get a bit of a rude surprise when I go to lower my deck and the pulley at the top has lost this pin and the whole thing comes crashing down and breaks off. Welcome back. My name's Fran and I've been living on the road for about 21 years I think it is now. It's a heck of a long time. Doesn't feel like that long though. It's just life. You know how you live. You don't really count how long you've been living in a house for generally. So pretty much the same thing. But yeah I had a bit of a hard week really with, with the deck breaking off. I was just lowering it to get my ladder out to put up that solar panel I got and the pin had come out of the shackle i'm going to start keeping a good eye on those things and the whole thing just came crashing down and because it's so incredibly heavy it just snapped all the hinges they literally just pulled apart and they were big hinges on there so <laughs> there was quite some force one of them ripped out um yeah, so I had to get the angle grinder out and <clears throat> cut the rest of it off because it was just kind of hanging there by one corner. Luckily, I only sort of jarred my arm a little bit because I wasn't standing <laughs> underneath it and it didn't fall on my head. But um, yeah, no, it was a bit of an overwhelming job, that one, because the thing is so heavy and I know I couldn't lift it back up there on my own. I can get rid of the old hinges, I can drill holes, I can bolt on new hinges, all of that, not a problem. But the dilemma was the sheer weight and size of the blasted thing. So yeah, luckily to lovely neighbours, um, Harry and Lorraine, I managed to borrow a crowbar to help rip the old hinges off and also a drill bit, which I broke and had to replace. But I really appreciated having somebody just down there who I could go to, oh, have you got one of those, you know, it saves trying to figure out how to get to town and get things sometimes and makes life so much easier. So anyway, we were all sort of talking about what to do. Harry talked me into taking the sides of it to make it lighter and I thought that was a really good idea of his, make it as easy as possible. So I did that. I got all the bolts. I went to town without the deck on the back, which seemed weird. <laughs> but anyway, um, bought some hinges and bolts and bits and pieces that I needed for that job and came back and started putting them all on the deck itself. Itself, which you know was drilling through steel and stuff like that and it was a bit frustrating because I have a really terrible chuck I bought for my chuck key for my power drill my actual you know that plugs in and so that was frustrating but never mind I've bought a decent one now it just got me so fed up <laughs> I bought a good one but anyway so I had to um do that and I was still kind of humming and hurrying on how to do this and Alan who owns the land here popped in and said look I'll bring the tractor down when you're ready give me a yell and I'll bring the tractor down with, with either the forks or the bucket on the front and I thought oh my god that's so good because it is heavy and I couldn't expect people to hold it up while I try to bolt it on it was just bit much to ask people to do you know I'd made some wooden things to try and prop under it to take the load off and stuff but um, anyway that was brilliant so he brought the tractor down and lifted it up and Harry and I lined it up where the hinges needed to go and then he just turned the tractor off and says I don't need it this afternoon so yeah just go at your own pace which was perfect because <laughs> You know, drilling through steel and getting bolts in underneath the truck and getting the little nuts on and washers and fluffing around, you know, that all takes time. 
and it needed to all work, you know, and be lined up. So, yeah, it was great having that time to be able to do that. So that was absolutely fabulous and such a relief. So I didn't put the flip-up sides back on the deck because I put them up when I was doing the fairs to stop people from pinching my stuff while I was doing readings because I was doing both at that point. And I don't really need them now and they're just a whole lot of extra weight. So some of them went on the bonfire and a couple of the bits Harry grabbed to make something out of that he wanted to make, which is great if it can be used. Wonderful. So huge relief to get that friggin' deck back on. I bought some new reflectors and put them on once the deck was on because they've totally gotten smashed to pieces. So yeah, it was a huge, huge relief to get that back on the truck. Um, yeah, my biggest issue with it was that it was just too heavy for me, you know. Um, I had help from friends, from mates, from all over the place who offered to come and help, so it would have gotten done, but the tractor just was perfect. So that was awesome. So once that was done, I thought, goody, I can finally put my solar panel on the roof. So I did that, chucked it all, put the wires up, put all the cables on and blah de blah and plugged it in and the voltage was, the amperage was too high for the regulator I had, so I had to unplug that one again and I got another regulator quite cheap on Trade Me actually. Trade Me is my favourite place for stuff like that. You go to a proper store <laughs> and you're just paying hundreds of dollars and this one's good. It's an MPPT but it's it was cheap. It was under a hundred bucks so yeah perfect. Well about a hundred bucks. I think 99 or something. Um, yeah so and it works and that's the main thing. So <laughs> yeah that took a bit of fluffing around with wires and cables and running them and I took all the old cables off the two other small panels. I've got two, three small ones on the roof now, an 85, a 95 and a 120 and then I've got a 250 watt panel on the back that runs through a totally separate regulator because it's a lot bigger. But <clears throat> I replaced all the cables from the other two panels too because I'd used quite small wiring because I had no idea what I was doing when I put the first one up. So I ran some decent size wires and some proper, you know, bridle things that you can plug three different panels into and they join into one joiner thingies and stuff like that, which makes the whole system a whole lot more simple because the first time I did it, I sat on the roof and soldered the wires together. <laughs> And that's quite tricky when it's windy and you're on a roof, you know, it wasn't the best thing to do. But this is nice and easy, you can unclip them if you need to and done. So yeah, I was really, really wrapped to get that done. It's just been one of those weeks, but I did, I have been feeling that my back has been heck of a sore because I did move that deck around a few times while I was bolting it to get underneath and prop it up on blocks so I could get the nuts on the bolts and so there was a bit of yeah heaving the thing around and I think I pulled something in my back because it's getting better now but for a few days it was coffee machine I've been fluffing around with <laughs> and that's my blender and that's my juicer so all those sort of electrical things they use power just sit in there which is super super handy and today's mission was to get the solar working properly I got another little regulator it's not top of the line but it seems to be working quite well there's the one for the big panel there's the one for the three smaller ones, which I've all put in parallel. So, yeah, with my old regulator, which is this one here, which is a PVM, um, the wire was getting hot. We it went into the positive terminal off the solar panel. It was getting a bit warm in there, so I disconnected it. But yeah, seems to be all good. Look at this. 
we're down by the lake sitting on a pontoon that's washed up on the beach. Um, I've just finished work, it's probably about one o'clock and it's meant to rain a lot, like heaps and heaps, heaps of rain coming apparently. You can probably hear the waves too, which means there's a boat out there. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so I feel like I'm on top of touch wood things with the truck at the moment. I've finished the solar panel and replaced the bracket on my mirror which was awesome, which was kindly made for me the bracket but yeah I drilled some holes in it and bolted it on and it was pretty amazing when I pulled the old bracket off it just came to pieces and <laughs> bits of rust so it was pretty bad. I'm pretty impressed that it actually was still on there so good to get that done. But anyway that's kind of kept me on my toes since I came back really and apart from that yeah work like while I was doing the deck I worked mornings and then worked on that in the afternoons. It was actually a bit of a relief when I had a whole weekend to complete that. <laughs> and yeah so anyway the adventures of the road eh? there's always something going on. Um, but at the moment yeah I'm just sitting here and working the weather's been pretty atrocious the last few days so yeah I'm on my phone so if the focus is going a bit weird that's why um, the camera is currently in photo mode so <laughs> I didn't use that but anyway so hey if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and a like and um, lots of love to you wherever you are in the world I keep connecting with people from other countries which is super exciting too um, and all you Kiwis and everybody out there I really love the fact that you enjoy my channel so lots of love to you all and see you all next time